Here we are back uh, for the daily discussion, and we're obviously heartbroken. We just watched the United States lose in penalties to Sweden in the round of 16, and I can start by saying that I really don't know how to be in this moment. Um, I've obviously never hosted a show, and I have a lot of feelings. I had a lot of feelings. It was a long and troubling night, um, and I don't know if I should be you know, positive and try to help the country grieve, if we should just be mourning together. I don't know um, what is the right way to act. I don't know what happened. Um, all I know is that, you know, it's a couple hours after the loss and I am lost. Um, Towen, do you want to share how you feel? Yeah, it, it sounds dramatic, what you just said. Like, is it dramatic? I think, I think the situation is dramatic. You do. I yeah. am also dramatic. <laughs> so, yes and yes. Oh God, we can get like just like a, a small laugh in the beginning of this discussion because you know there were a lot of emotions um, watching that game. I think, um, particularly like at the end of the game when the team was in PKs. Um, I think I, I'll let you start. Like I was emotionally prepared for the U.S. to lose. I was prepared for them to lose because they have not shown in the tournament and even before the tournament, even years back, to be a team, to me, that was going to win a World Cup. So I think I was emotionally prepared for them to lose. Um, but I think the fashion of the loss, like, it, like for me, if like Sweden just came out and like won 3-0, I would have been like, okay, like it's over. Like the suffering's over. Let's like clean clean slate this thing and let's move on um but the the fashion in which we lost was pretty traumatic um i will say it felt because we're watching these games in the middle of the night it feels like a nightmare yeah and when i went to bed i was like kind of hopeful that i yeah. dreamt it and i was like maybe when i come back to consciousness i'm going to still be able to watch the game yeah. like that's how it felt um yeah, and it, it was a weird feeling because you, like, in it's like the first 10 minutes, you kind of, like, look over at me and you say, like, we look okay, right? <laughs> um, and it was this um, kind of, like, fear a little bit, like, that something bad was going to happen the whole time uh, that was a weird feeling to have as a U.S. Women's National Team fan. Like, you always feel like a superhero, right? And that, like, the team are going to do these, like, the ball heroic our way. Yeah. yeah, and... Just like the feeling of everything that happened, it, it, I, you just, you kind of like, even when it felt like the the U.S. team was, um, was playing in a way that you were like, they're gonna win this game, it still never felt like that. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I, I'm happy for, like, I'm heartbroken for for the girls. I don't think they're deserving of this. I don't think there's any excuse for the result of this tournament, there are zero excuses for it. Um, I, I can go into a whole soliloquy on uh, that, but I, I my heart breaks because every single one of those players dedicated a lot to be in that moment, to be at the tournament, um, and it's it's hard. It's really hard. And uh, during that penalty kick shootout, I was like kind of like at the edge of the seat, and you were kind of behind and. You know, I was kind of just like clasping my my hands, like praying, and um, and I heard you like sobbing behind me. There's two moments that I really <laughs> lost it. The first one was, and I'm gonna cry when Andy scored because it was so brave. It was so. She amazing. just took it so well. She took it so well, and her reaction was just like that moment. Yeah, I was I, like, I, I, I believed. Had, like I when when Andy scored that PK yeah. and her. Celebration. So it was like this release so of yeah of energy that I just felt was really powerful. Um, it was such a big moment for her, and she just handled it so well. I was just so proud. Like I felt it was she tears led the of joy. Team. I was so yeah. happy for her. And and then the second moment was Alyssa's face when they called it a goal. I'll never forget the look on her face because she was fantastic. And for the last two tournaments, Alyssa has been our steadiest. Best player. She doesn't get any praise. She was so fantastic. I would say she, even three tournaments. She, you're three right. Tournaments. You're right. 2019 she World had Cup. Had to do it all. 20, 
20, um, 21, 2020 uh, <laughs> Tokyo Olympics, this World Cup, Alyssa Nair, like, she's a dear friend of ours, and, you know, she will be the first person that says, like, she doesn't want any praise, but her performance, like, I don't know what more you can ask of a player and she took the penalty, the six she, she, she literally did it all. She, and then she didn't give up, like, did she even give up any goals? Like, her, like, <laughs> people were talking about the Swedish goalkeeper and, like, hats off to her. She was fantastic. But, like, those, like, corner kicks that, that Alyssa had to deal with, the level of difficulty in those moments is so high. And she did it again and again. She ri rose up for the U.S. Women's Sash team, and she became huge, huge. And that's why it just breaks my heart, because it's just like you want things to make sense in the world, and they just don't. And when you see that ball just on the line, like I kept saying, if that's tennis, that's inbounds. Like, I yeah. don't think it was over the yeah, line. I didn't think it was like, over the line. Like, yeah. I didn't see a gap between the line and the ball. It yeah. was like right at the edge, and you just think like, this doesn't make sense. But the whole she thing didn't make sense. Like, the whole, the whole thing sense. didn't make sense. The whole tournament didn't make sense. <laughs> if you want to go back to the Olympics, that whole tournament didn't make sense. Like, something's not making sense here. And, like, you can just take that small instance, which is the penalty kicks, right? And, like, we can just go into this. And, like, uh, like for me, it was like, okay, that Swedish player should have just gone up in and ripped the back of the net. They win, right? But it, it couldn't be like that, it right? It like had to be slow this slow burn. drama, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is just like, it, 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 you feel for it even more. And like, you know, we can go into depth about like the, the penalty kicks, but, but in reality, like these are moments, right? But you add all the moments up and then like, that's what, this is what you get. And so like the US team, they, they were happy with their performance because honestly, from where they were playing to where they played against Sweden, you would have been like, wow, what a team. But they tied that game. They went into, like... Okay, let's it, talk No, about no, this. no. They went in 0-0. They scored no goals. They went into penalty kicks. Like, I don't know about you, but I don't ever remember a time when you could celebrate a 0-0 result. Right, and, right. And right. Not, not just to say that, but there was nothing. And I go back to this again. When it was 0-0... Are we playing that game to win it? Or are we playing just not to lose it? Because in the Netherlands game, like why we were even up in the middle of the night watching that game is because we were okay with a 1-1 game yeah. against the Netherlands. We didn't go to win that. Yeah. Portugal, same thing. Okay, Great wait, for let's that. take a breath. I, I actually want to say one more thing <laughs> while I'm in this breath. Okay. <laughs> Emily Sonnet. You've waited a long time for that moment. Obviously, the result wasn't the result, but that's a long time of training your ass off and being there for your teammates. And I thought you played Aww. phenomenal, and I'm so proud of you. And and you know what? I don't think you were put in a situation to succeed. And you I, succeeded And anyways. you succeeded <laughs> anyways. You succeeded, <laughs> and I love you for that. Um, and, and I'm sorry that it's still a moment that it doesn't feel good to celebrate in. Okay, so I want to talk about results and performance because what, what I feel like I heard watching the game was like, now our performance is so good. And in the, in the post-match, it was like, we performed so well, right? And yeah. I understand where that's coming from because, one, we have a performance from the prior three games that was being compared to that we improved on. But I think, and it's a question, it's like, aren't results a part of performance too? And yeah. like, was the performance good? Like your point, we tied, I think I heard it was like 280 plus minutes that we didn't score a goal in a World Cup. Wow. Can you say that's a good performance if you're not scoring? Um, you know, and I look at the game and like, we did not lose the World Cup last night. We lost the World Cup over... Mm. weeks, months, days, whatever the, the time frame is. Mm. Like, like I said, it was a slow burn all leading to that moment where the ball was parried and up in the air and it barely went over the line. Mm. It was like a slow burn to that moment mm. because like we should, we should have been playing against South Africa at 7 p.m. <laughs> Pacific time and it would have been a different game. And that performance would have been good enough to get us through, right? Mm. And like the whole 
idea of like performance and results. Like people had said prior, like we got the results we got through. We yeah. did not get the results. Yeah. Because we were if we playing did. on tough opponent yeah. because we didn't get the results. If we did get the results, we'd be playing at, at seven o'clock and on the yeah. West Coast and it would have been very different. Yeah. Um so, I yeah, you're right. There the let's let's be really clear. The results weren't there and the performance wasn't there. Yeah. So so let's just like get that out because both of those things were true. What I heard from you and the commentators and all the fans the whole tournament is what's happening. That is like how I'll remember this World Cup. What's happening? Yeah, and I think we were like trying to reassure ourselves and I think the team was almost trying to reassure us like it's okay. We got this. Like we're grinding out the results. Like we're going to get better. Like like and I trust the team, you know? Like I trust that. Um but but the reality is it didn't get better. And 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 that performance is not a performance, you know, maybe it's a performance that that beats Sweden on on a different bounce on a different night, but it's it's not a team that would win a World Cup. Maybe they get through to the next round, but I I said it over and over again, it it wasn't going to win the World Cup when they were going to come out or leave the tournament. It's just a matter of when. It's just a matter of when. And, you know, the rhetoric, to be fair, like, I kind of knew it was going to be this game because of the rhetoric, because of this idea that there was this complacency in, well, we made it to the round of 16. I don't know in all my days that we said we made it to the round of 16. Like, that was some kind of celebration. And I... As being part of the Osman Sash team, you don't compare yourself to anyone. Anyone. And the fact that we were celebrating because, you know, Germany's out, Brazil's out. So maybe it's okay if we go out because we can say, well, they went out. So we can kind of hide behind this shadow of, you know, the world's catching up, the game's changing. No, that doesn't belong in the U.S. Women's National Team. That talk, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Because I wouldn't want to be a part of a program that settled for the round of 16. I wasn't a part of that program. Like, and I become passionate about this because I dedicated my whole life to that team since I was a kid. We're a mess. I'm a mess because- <laughs> This is awful. Because when I see that team, I don't see myself in that team. You know, and, and I love those players to death. Like those players are like closer to me than some, than anything in this world. And when I don't see like my players being set up to succeed, that breaks my heart. But you know what? It's it's like we have to you have to like take a step back in it because it's like why was there any conversation about being okay with being in the round of 16? It was because the football and all the things we talked about the preparation, it took away the belief. It did. And we started hearing like We'll make it to, like, we're, the plan's still to make it to the final. What do you mean the plan's to make it? I remember <laughs> being 22 years old, scared out of my mind, being like, we win or we bust. Yeah. Having no idea what that means, yeah. but that's just what was, like, nailed, drilled into my yeah. head. And it's, like, the, the, the way that the team was throughout this tournament, to me, showed that they had the blinds pulled up and they could see that it wasn't good enough. And so they were then trying to smile and make it through it because they had to show an air of confidence. And then they were saying, you know, like, well, the world's catching up because they were like trying to be optimistic and positive and say the things and do the things that they thought could give them the best chance to still win because that's the heart and soul of this team. And, and, and it's win no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're saying something that you don't believe, if you're like faking it to you making it. Like I believe that every single player did and said every single thing with the most intention to win. Um, and I think that it's, it was, it's the program that, that let every person down. And I will say the, the criticism on the t of the team, um, of the players, of the attitude of what the team represents, like there's no, there's literally no place for that. Like this, yep. this is a team that we are incredibly proud of, yeah. um, that this is a team that win or lose represents every single one of the best pieces of this country, of the spirit of resilience, of progress and change and faith and hopefulness. And like, I know in my heart that this is a moment where you 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 are reborn. You lose and you're reborn. And that is Again, the spirit of the U.S. Women's National Team. Like, no matter what happens, even a loss, even a heartbreak, even a, 
a catastrophe of last night, it's like you wake up and you go again because that that is us, that is who we are, that is who this program is, and it wasn't reflected in the way that we combined on the field. Yeah. It wasn't reflected in our faces right after the match. Like there's all these things, but it's like, no, I know the truth and there's no facade sitting here on the couch that I could say that that, that has ever changed yeah. and it will never change. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful team. It's a beautiful group of players, some really special players that I think like for the last time we'll see on a World Cup stage, you know? Um, you always think of like how you're remembered and you know, I don't know in what situation we don't have Alex Morgan in taking a penalty in what seemingly feels like it's her last World Cup. That type of responsibility that you have for a team being a player like she is, I don't know how she's not. Can't make I don't. any sense of it. You know, she had to watch that, you know. She couldn't help the team in that moment. And, you know, for all the criticism that any play player can have, you know, you want your biggest players in the biggest moments. And that was hard. That was hard for me, you know, to not, to not give, have her have that. Um, for players that, you know, weren't prepared for moments because of, that are no fault to them, you know. You get called to put on that shirt, you're putting on that shirt, you're going to do it to the best of your ability. But were all the players prepared in the way that needs to be for a world championship? Was the group as a whole prepared in the way that it needs for a world championship. Well, clearly not.